Yo, what's good, everyone? It's your boy, Skulker. My Joker's back. I'm hyped for this video. It is gonna be pure Pendulum Magicians, just how they're supposed to be. Pure, baby. Pure of heart, pure of soul, pure of passion. Utilizing one Joker, utilizing a way to search it all the time with Perform by Pendulum Sorcerer and Duelist Alliance. And let's not forget the new combo that is now possible thanks to these cards. Before we get into this video, I also have a massive announcement I wanna tell you guys. For the next two days only, I did not want to do this. I really did not. But Konami, bro, they were, they gave me a present. Time to give you guys a present. I will be releasing the new Magician Playmat. Let's go. Exclusive for the next two days only. Double Iris is back. Joker brings back the Wisdom Eye. Harmo, Poison, Celestial. Let's go, baby. Get yours right now on TripGaming.com. Available only for the next 48 hours. Get it right now! And as soon as you guys go check out that beautiful playmat on TripGaming.com, you're gonna come back here and win this true greatness, baby. Because today's the day the pendulums come back into the meta. Fuck you, shit! And destroy the meta, baby. So let's go. Skunk and Bad Joker combos. You're not gonna want to miss this. So stay tuned on the video. And let's get started, boys. Let's get started on some Skunk and Bad Joker Devil Iris combos. Let's go. <laughs> And now it's time to showcase you guys the new combo tutorial with Joker. Um, I'm fucking excited to show you guys this, man. It's amazing. So for this opening hand, I'm going to show you guys three different replays, th three different combo tutorials on how to do it with different hands. For this one, we open Joker. So this is line number one. If you open Joker, obviously you're not always going to open it. You don't need the Joker. You can have Wisdoms or you can perform about Sorcerer to search the Joker. But I'll show you guys different options on how they all are and how powerful it is. And it doesn't matter if it's at one because it's searchable. Here, the beauty of Joker is that you can play Wisdom Mind Magician again. And Wisdom Mind Magician is just fucking insane, bro. This card literally gets any card you want. It's the Master Searcher, and then you just pendulum some in the mouth. So that's the beauty of it. And here you're gonna see the utilization of Tuning Magician. And since we're playing Double Iris and two Double Irises, we play a bigger Star Pendulum Graph count. It is pure Magicians, bro. So you're gonna be triggering Star Pendulum Graph for, like crazy. And the beauty of this spot, spot card here is that now that Engage is back, Sky Strikers will see a lot of play. Star Pendulum Graph, does not allow any of your spellcaster cards to be targeted by spell card effects. So all their Widow Anchors won't do shit. The whole deck won't do shit. You auto-kill that deck. Here we use Oath to search Wisdom. And here we're going to go to Needle Fiber. So our combo uh, could be uh, hit by Nibiru. So what we're doing here is we're using Needle Fiber and Tuning Magician. We have play a lot of tuners in the deck. And in my past tutorials, you'll notice that you need a tuner for it. This one, you don't need a tuner. This one, if they hit us with a Nibiru, right now it doesn't matter. Because we're going to do we're gonna put, uh, put, uh, Appaloosa before we even do anything. We're not Pendulum Summoning until we see an Appaloosa. So if you don't open an Extender, it doesn't matter. But you play through a Nibiru with an Extender. And as you see here, with zero actual spell cards, we don't lose to Droll here. If our Joker gets Drolled, we still have a free monster. And we still just pen 5 and still put up 3, 4, 5 Negates. Well, through Droll, we'll have 3 Negates. So this is way better versus Droll. And if they try Nibiru us, we stop it with Appaloosa. So the combo here is very simple. It's the fact that every hand can do it. You don't need all these cards in hand. Our start was just this set, this, the way we did it protected us from the Biru and through other hand traps. What we're doing here is we're just setting up our following turn. Magicians are the best possible deck to go Dagda with because you're playing double two double irises. You want your deck to be reliant on the pendulum graphs. You want the pendulum graphs to give you uh, as much as possible uh, plus every single turn. So you don't want to put up a board that requires you to waste your hand or to waste anything, all you want to do is set up your Pendulum Graphs. If you set up your Pendulum Graphs and have a, have, Dag, have Dagda and Scythe set up, you auto-win. You're protected from Appaloosa, and here you're just going to auto-kill them. So here you're going to go Tornado to summon out the Scythe. They can't Dark Roller on their turn. They can't Sturimo, they can't Lava Golem, they can't Kaiju. They can't do any of that, as they could if there was a Needle Fiber. So Tornado plays around Dark Roller just by summoning out the Scythe. So now Scythe will trigger, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Uh, pendulum trap pendulum grab is gonna pop the poison, so your spell pendulum grab is gonna search you another wisdom eye, and you can just keep going. And you only wasted three, four, you wasted five cards in your extra deck, so you have ten more to OTK. This is classic magicians with great follow up, and this is what pendulum grabs offer you. Joker and uh, which is in the graveyard now. Joker and perform out pendulum sorcerer give you uh, perform out sorcerer, especially in duelist alliance to get the sorcerer gives you access to Joker. Then Joker just gets the whole goal, whole game plan rolling. 
and that's what we're doing, boys. We're sticking to the game plan. That's what my tattoo says. And that's it. If your, your opponent cannot stop this because Pendulum Graph will pop the poison for two pops, and then Pendulum Graph will trigger the search. So you just keep another ending searching. I'm gonna show you another replay now. This is another replay of the new combo. This one, we have zero extenders. This hand is dog shit. We not only open Chrono, but we open Time Gazer with the Chrono. That's dog shit. We have no Wisdom Eye. We have no Harmonizing Magician. This is the worst hand that you're gonna open in your entire deck. This is legit the worst hand, like in your entire fucking deck. So I don't wanna hear no excuses, okay? If we can make a good board here with good follow-up, utilizing double irises, then this is gonna show you how good this really is. This iris could be anything. This iris could be a dualist alliance. This iris could be a wisdom mine. This iris could be a joker. This iris could be an iris. It could be a dualist alliance, a star pendulum graph, anything. Now I'm gonna show you why putting double iris to two was so good for pendulums. You don't even understand how good it was. All we're gonna do is pen three. We don't do nothing special here. We just pendulum summon three cards. Sorcerer is gonna pop the iris. Searching us Joker. It can also search a Celestial Magician if we want to. We don't really need to pop an extra card here. And Double Iris is going to search a Star Pendulum Graph. I hope you guys see where this is going. Next, we're going to go in, uh, into Artifact Dagda to be able to trigger our uh, set of Scythe to trigger our Joker and to get a free card with Star Pendulum Graph. So we're going to normal Joker and get Wisdom Eye Magician. Next, we have Double Wisdom Eye here, Star Pen Graph, Joker, Sword Grave Bolt, all this. So Dagda will set the Scythe, and here we're going to put the uh, put a uh, uh, Iris. Then we're going to Tornado Dragon. Tornado's gonna pop the, star pen the Iris to get a Star Pendulum Graph. Look at this. We just popped two double Irises. This is why double Iris at two is massive. Because I don't have Electromite, but you trigger double Iris' effect twice to get a follow up of Star Pendulum Graph and to get this a Time Pen Graph. The new way to play Pendulums is to have both Pendulum Graphs on the field at all times. At all times. Because what that would ensure is that you're gonna get never ending follow up. Star Pen Graph is gonna pop off and you're gonna get a free card. In fact, I'm gonna put Wisdom Eye here to put a purple poison. Since Wisdom Eye is not once per turn, you can use as many times as you want. And we didn't use Oak Dragon Effect yet, so we're gonna use it now. And now uh, our Pen Graph is gonna pop the poison for two pops. And you're gonna Tornado pop the Scythe. And they can't play through Scythe. This is what the worst fucking hand we've ever had. You have an amazing follow up. Pen Graph will search you all the follow up you need. And this is just the beauty of Sorcerer and Joker. Even when you brick, Sorcerer will unbrick you by getting the Joker, which will get you more level fours. And all you need for this combo is just a link two and a rank four. That's it. A link two and a rank four. That's all you need. And in fact, I could have done this a little better. I could have Tornado Dragon first and uh, then Dagda after I Tornado Dragon. And it would have been five summons on the Dagda, I believe. So I could have played around Nibiru if I did it better. I would have at least had a Pengra and a Star Pengra. So. I had two pops through everything. This is the worst hand as well, and we still put up uh, uh, the Dagda combo, and the Dagda combo is auto win. You don't want just a Dagda combo, you want Dagda with Pendulum Graph. We cut Pen Call to one, just to ensure that we could pop Double Iris as many times as we can. So we're gonna be popping Double Iris all fucking format, baby. I'm gonna show you guys another replay now. Now that you guys understand the gist of the deck, and then go super speed now, so you guys can get it a little a little better without me even explaining it. Here, we're just gonna special summon the Magician, the, the Tuning Magician is just an extender. We just so happen to open this extender uh, more than the others, but you're gonna see how good it actually is. So here we're gonna pr protect ourselves from Nibiru. We're gonna put Dagda Tornado, and that's it. It's so simple. You don't have to overthink anything. And the beauty of Star Pen Graph and Oath and, and Pen Graph, Star uh, and Time Pen Graph, is that the Pendulum Graphs keep searching you every turn. And this format, I don't care what anyone says, this format's fucking dog shit. All right, this format sucks. This. Bro, you don't even need a fucking scythe. Pendulum Graph alone is enough to stop this trash format. Pendulum Graph alone is enough. So, let alone with a scythe. This deck's just insane. That's it. And all your magicians are, are set, and you get the perfect follow-up with the Pendulum Graphs. The Pendulum Graphs keep adding magicians back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You're gonna get everything you need every single turn. And that's the those are the common tutorials. This is the deck profile, really utilizing the Joker and Sork. With Duels Alliance searching the performer by Pendulum Sorcerer. So we have five ways into Joker. We got uh, two double irises, obviously. We utilize the double irises more than you can think of. Uh, you try and get these out with Wisdom as quick as possible. You try and get Joker and Sword to get the Wisdom to get the Iris. So you really have, se have seven ways to double Iris. Ten ways to double Iris. Eleven ways to double Iris. Oaf Dragon is the only card you want in the low scale. Purple Poison is only there for very few situations. The way Oaf Dragon works in this deck 
uh, giving you back the wisdom eye to get to get the poisonous scale anyways you would prefer the oath in the scale low scale all the time harmos one celestial because it's searchable by sork as well for whenever this is gone for turn two or three one poison one pit uh, for Balco decks, and then you need 12 extenders here. Time Geezer is fine. You can always keep this as a high scale if you need it. Triple Chrono as, high, as an extender. Triple Tuning Magician. Triple Souls. Triple Curtain Razor. If you want to make this deck budget, that is totally doable. All you have to do to make this deck budget is just remove Triple Souls. Remove the three souls. Remove the Zeus. Uh, remove the Axis Code Talker. Try and get a Savage. It's important for this combo. Try and get two Needle Fibers. They're important as well. Uh, so if you want to make a budget, that's fine. You could very easily make a budget. The souls are not required. But don't play Dark Worm in this, okay? Because you do not want to play Pen Call. Pen Call does not work out in this deck. Pen Call is only good to have a one of in, for side decking. When you look at your side deck, they're all cards that destroy boards. So when you uh, side these eight against like a Drytron deck or something to stop the uh, to stop their Herald of Perfection or Ultimateness, uh, sometimes you might draw two of these. So you want Pen Call to discard the extra sometimes. So. You don't want to play pen call. Don't rely on pen call, okay? Uh, it's just there just in case. You want your scales to be popped with the effects of Tornado and Sork. So keep them like it is. If you want to play, play it budget, that's why current range is better than Dark Room in this version. Uh, if you want to play budget, just remove three Magician Souls for maybe three of anything. But maybe two pen calls and just play with pen call. Ah, actually, no, fuck pen call. You don't play that shit. Take out the three souls for whatever you want, but you don't really need it. It's just a little bit better. It's just the next best extender. Uh, triple Desires, if you banish your Scythe, it's fine. You're playing Magician at the end of the day. That's why you have Savage and Dragster in there. If you were to banish this, you're still ending on like four negates regardless. But Scythe is a one card. Why put up six negates when a Scythe does its job? There's reason why Wind is so powerful. There's reason why Barrier Statues end turns. There's reason why all these Floodgate monsters were banned. There's reason why VFD was banned. Why put up five negates when you can just get a whole VFD by itself? That's how good Scythe is. And it can't be like stopped with Dark Ruler. It, it lingers for the entire turn. And it's done in draw phase, so it can't get Dark Ruler. So this shit's insane. Typically, you have an Appalooza as well to protect it from a Gamma. So that's good. If desires, like I said, just in case it gets banished, you have negates anyways. And there's nothing here you care to get banished because you play two double irises. You banish both, it will hurt, but that's not going to happen. And you play double pendulum graph this also will hurt if you banish it and playing multiple pendulum graphs is good this just means through multiple hand traps you're guaranteed an interruption and against slow decks time pendulum graph and star pendulum graph are fucking mvps uh so they're amazing side deck uh you play these eight for combo decks you play these seven for trap decks very simple there's going to be some decks that are like combo control like in the middle you have evenly matched which are broken against all those decks some decks die to just one dark ruler sometimes you don't want to side these five you just side these for the five really hard FTK decks that put up like five negates like we do. But for the most part, this covers everything. Uh, the extra deck here, you're going to want double Needle Fiber uh, for a few reasons. One of the reasons is once you go Needle Fiber, Selene, Appalooza to protect yourself, you would like another Needle Fiber to go Needle Fiber, Selene, Access Code Talker because you always you typically have a Tuning Magician left in Grave for a follow-up. So typically, this is what it's good to have. Dweller, Tornado, Time Star... Dark Rebellion. Dark Rebellion is a 15th card in this extra deck. You, you don't really need it, but I do think it's good to have. Uh, it's another way to out Dragoon, as well as just easy 4,300 to the face, typically 4,000 something to the face. Wonder Magician is there in case you can't get access to Tornado Dragon. You play a fuck ton of rank 4s, level 4s, but just in case you don't have them, you have weird levels. You could go Dagda Needle Fiber with four random levels. Uh, it could be an Oaf, a Dragon Pit, a Time Gazer, and a Tuning Magician. You could do it with that uh, however you want while still being protected by Appaloosa. The idea going first is through hand. This will always resolve through hand traps. This is incredible through hand traps. Even if you have to get rid of your Appaloosa, even if you don't need like, even if you're playing through hand traps, you could at least put up a Dagda and a Needle Fiber. That's incredibly easy to do. Dagda and Needle Fiber is incredibly easy to do through hand traps, like without resolving Needle Fiber's effect. I'm talking about the second Needle Fiber that brings out Wonder Magician to pop your own site. So your opponent, this will fuck your opponent up. And typically, all that stop with the pen graph. So this is really resilient through interruptions. Uh, and going second instead of Dagda combo, you go for Axis Code to pop everything. Uh, yeah, and then you have Dragster Savage for uh, extra Synchro Negates after the Dagda. And then you have a Zeus because it does come up where you could go uh, out through a, so many interruptions. You just go Time Star, search your follow up, Zo uh, Sork, uh, use Sorcerer to pop both your scales, to search a Joker and a Celestial for a follow up. You use Time Star for some other random shit. Uh, to search a follow-up and then you just zeus clear the board and then you just have a whole hand left uh so it works out 
Uh, yeah, that's the deck. The deck's fucking insane. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Let me know in the comments if you guys like it. I fucking love this deck, and I can't wait in a few days to talk more about it. And don't forget as well for the next 48 hours only. It's a special bandless special, baby. Exclusive Magician Playmat available for the next 48 hours. And I'm taking it off the site. The Dremagor Playmat went very successful. Uh, was a little late to get to everyone, but now all the mats are here. Uh, so everyone uh, is going to get the Dragon Core playmats within the next few days. Unless you live in Europe, that'll be the next few weeks. But everyone else is getting the next few days. And uh, yeah, so if you guys want to get yours, get them in the description. And, and I'm going to post again tomorrow. Maybe it'll be about magicians, or maybe it's going to be about Endymion Spice Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! <laughs>